Good evening and welcome to Over the Counter, a half hour show that focuses on health. My name is Monique Hammond, I'm a pharmacist, but tonight we will not be talking about medications and about illnesses and all sorts of things like that. Tonight I'll take you instead to a very special place here in Minneapolis, namely Minneapolis Children's Hospital. At Children's Hospital the staff is not only worried about the physical well-being of their little charges, no, they are also paying a lot of attention to the emotional needs of their patients. And now we have learned lately a lot about how our body, our minds and our emotions all work together in the healing process. And maybe you have seen those Bill Moyers specials where this subject was discussed extensively. At Children's Hospital here in Minneapolis, one way that the staff takes care of some of these emotional needs is by using an internal, in-hospital television channel in order to bring the children some worthwhile programming during the day. And so tonight I'd like to introduce you to Channel 13 at Children's Hospital in Minneapolis and we'll also take a peek behind the scenes during the making of the Wishing Well show. And the Wishing Well show is a daily Monday through Friday live show that is produced in the studio and I was lucky enough to get to go down there and to film some of this and I'll show you some of those pictures. Now in my mind the emotional part of our healing is a very great part of health. And when I started out doing this show over the counter that you're presently watching, I was mentioning at one point that if there is a topic that pertains to our health, well then we will talk about it. And this is one of those topics and it is devoted to our children. So you might be saying, isn't there enough programming already on the networks that our kids can watch during the day? Actually, that's a very good question. What really is there to watch for our children on commercial television? Now, the February 1st issue, 1993, of U.S. News and World Report had an um, article that was dealing with some of the things that I'd like to talk about. It was called Troubling TV Ads. Now, in this report, there were some statistics that are a little bit frightening if you're thinking about them a little bit. And they were stating that the average child in the United States watches, on average, 25 hours of television each week. And, of course, there are those children that watch considerably more. During a week's period, a child can see as much as 350 commercials. And many of those commercials, of course, have scary stuff in it. Sort of, the, sort of the stuff that makes up for bad dreams. The average primetime death toll is on the order of two murders per night. Actually, I thought it was much higher than that. We must not be including those people that are beaten and hurt in any which way. And then, of course, we have all those ads that find their way into children's programming, ads that really do not belong there at all, because they are violent and frightening in nature and overall unsettling to the young minds. So, I'd say that there is indeed plenty of room for improvement when it comes to children television programming. Now, children who are laid up in the hospital for some time have sometimes days that are particularly long. And TV does indeed help to shorten up the long hours. Life in the hospital can also be very confusing to a child with all the tests and all the procedures and all of those people that come around and ask them questions and poke around on them. And so they certainly do not need to have their anxiety level raised by seeing scary stuff on their television screens. Surrounding the children who are in the hospital with loving, educational, fun and positive messages is the purpose of Channel 13 at Children's Hospital in Minneapolis. There are no commercials here and no scary stuff. Now, besides the Wishing Well show, Channel 13 also offers throughout the day programs with music, stories, nature programs, and much, much more. The Wishing Well show is only one part of the whole picture. But now I would like to introduce you to the Wishing Well show, the show that is for kids, and it involves their participation in every phase. The children make it all work. I'd like to walk you through some of the features that um, the staff went through while I was there. And so I'll explain to you what is happening because some of those things are awfully tricky. 
And then later also, I will talk to Kathy Rocky, who is the very gracious and fun hostess that you'll just see now in a couple of minutes. So let's now see what there is for us in the wishing well. Right here at the opening, we meet a major star of the show, Porky Chops. Porky Chops is a mouthy little piglet who is a lot of fun. He always has something to say, he loves to learn, he loves to play game, he loves to have his ears scratched, and most of all, he just adores meeting the children. And here we see Lauren, who was Porky's partner of the day in the game What's Missing? Lauren's gown, as you see, is decorated with all sorts of hospital items, a rubber glove, a tongue blade, a band-aid, and so on. Now, the children see these items in close-up on their TV screen in their rooms. But then, through the magic of television, Lauren is covered so that the kids can only see her face. When she is uncovered, the kids have to see what item is now missing, and then they have to call their report via telephone to Porky Chops. And it took only seconds each time, and we had winners galore. And of course, I did not bring my magic of television, so on, our, on your screen, you are not going to be seeing Lauren all covered up, so that's why I had to explain that. Lauren, of course, knew that she would be on the show, and she worked hard together with her nurse at decorating her outfit. And so, so you see again, there was a lot of thought and a lot of effort that went into preparing for her guest appearance. And Lauren, as you could see, did all of this with a very natural style and grace and I was personally very honored in meeting this very delightful young lady. But now back to the wishing well. Here we meet, of course, all the special friends. And these special friends are toys and stuffed animals that the children sort of loan to Kathy for the show. Kathy collects the friends at the beginning of the show and then returns them to their rightful owners promptly after the show is over. The friends are introduced by Kathy one at a time to the kids. And this is a very special way for the children, first of all, of seeing their special friend appear on television, and then also of sharing something that is a most valued possession with the other people in the hospital. Again, we have a lot of emphasis on personal involvement and sharing. Now, the windsock was contributed by Vanessa. Vanessa had worked hard at it, and the windsock did have beautiful uh, pink streamers indeed. And as Kathy pointed out, when summer comes, it's going to be a beautiful sight in the wind. Ashley sent us the duck. It was soft and huggable. It was actually a baby duck, but boy, could that little duck wave. The puppy came from Jacob. He was a wiggly little puppy, and he needed to have his ears scratched in order to uh, cool down a little bit. He was a little nervous, I guess, to be a star on the show. Santa Bear came from Ryan, and Santa wore his cap in a most fashionable way, kind of on the side of the head, and, well, Santa Bear has been with Ryan for about four years, Kathy said, and so Santa Bear is still fashionable. Lamar sent us the dinosaur named Barney. Actually, it was a Spinosaurus or something on that order, and he looked very scary indeed. Now, Joseph sent us the baby, and the baby came all equipped with his own bottle. That was certainly a sight to see. And Mohammed, of course, sent the troll, who insisted on saying hi to Justin, and he did just that. Now here we are taking a look at the electronic Get Well cards. Now these are standardized size blank cards that the kids can make out for each other or that family and friends can dedicate to them. The children write their own messages or the family and friends write their messages, whatever, and then you have to also do your own artwork. The cards are collected daily and they are also shown daily on the Wishing Well show. And this is, again, a very personalized way of acknowledging the children. If it is their art that is shown, well then, the credit goes to them. And sometimes it's really a nice surprise when you don't expect it, and there all of a sudden there is your name, and you're being mentioned on the air, and you get that get well m message from somebody who has taken the time to be creative on your behalf.
Hey. Oh my goodness, it's Barney. On a red wagon. Wow, this is to Vanessa from Dad. <laughs> Looks like they're having a lot of fun. <laughs> this one is to Patrick from Christy. And it says, Fast Patrick. Uh, it starts up here, actually. Electronic, get, get well fast, <laughs> Patrick. And I love all the colors in your name, Patrick. That's great. Christy did a terrific job. So a big get well to Patrick. We hope you feel well really soon, too. Now we are playing Pictionary. And Kathy draws items commonly used in the hospital. And on this particular day, she had a hard time swamping the kids. Again, as soon as a child guesses what item Kathy tries to draw, he or she calls the studio right away and registers a win. And the children are very good at this game. Kathy had barely drawn a few lines here for item number one, and that phone rang already. Ryan guessed it. It was supposed to be a syringe. How many I need of these? <laughs> I don't believe this. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hi, who's calling? Vanessa. Vanessa, what do you think that is? Is it what? Is it what? How do you guys do this? <laughs> yes, it is. It's a sterile glove. <laughs> How did you know that? <laughs> okay, let me finish filling it in, okay? And then you can tell me your two favorite colors. Well, sort of like that, right? Did I get them all in there? One, two, three, four. Yes, I did. <laughs> it was sterile gloves. Vanessa, what's your two favorite colors? I knew that. Same as me, right? All right. Thanks for calling, Vanessa. Did anybody have any ideas yet? Uh, we have someone down here in our studio who has a guess. Are they the books? It's the books. Yes, yay! <laughs> Everybody, Owen is down here from seventh floor helping out produce the show today, and he guessed absolutely correctly. It is the books. Owen, what's your two favorite colors? Uh, let's see, blue and purple. I guess. Blue and purple. All right. Oh, did you say the call button? Yeah. You are absolutely right. It is the call button. Woo! <laughs> All right. And it's Tiffany. T i f f a n y. Yeah. Kathy also showed us how to make finger puppets out of rubber gloves and cotton balls and all the rest that you need is of course a black marker in order to make the face and so forth. And uh, when you're in the hospital and you don't have all that much equipment or paper to write on or whatnot, well you have to use what you get. And so this was of course a very practical way of how you can utilize your time uh, when you're in your room and you don't really know what to do with yourself. There's the nurse. Here's four kids in the playroom. <laughs> Aren't they cute? They're having lots of fun in the playroom. And here comes in the nurse to tell him, it's time to eat your lunch. Okay. <laughs> or she can come in and take, listen to how they sound inside with their stethoscope. <laughs> so you can do lots and lots of fun things with finger puppets made out of a sterile glove. Okay. Now the children also help out behind the scenes. And here we see Owen, who was co-producer for the day. Owen is also sort of the in-house magician, and every so often Owen performs his magic tricks right for the Wishing Well show. Owen did a marvelous job, and I would guess that he will have a brilliant career ahead of himself in, in electronics, to say the least. Or maybe he could consider um, 
special effects in the movies because that young man had a natural touch with all the controls and the buttons and the panels and he did not even seem a bit confused. Owen, you did a great job and Lauren, you were truly a great hostess. But now, we are going to turn to Kathy Rocky and we'll see what she has to tell us about Channel 13, The Children, The Wishing Well Show and so much more. So here she is, Kathy Rocky. Good. Well, good evening, Kathy, and uh, welcome to our show. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. I am so happy that you let me come and invade your territory <laughs> here and uh, bring all my stuff down and uh, give us this interview. You're I, very welcome. I had a lot glad of fun. To do it. I had a lot of fun already <laughs> today. <laughs> Kathy, could you tell us, first of all, what is the age group that you are serving here in the hospital? What is the oldest kids that the you oldest, have? The oldest, actually. Our oldest is about 21. We go kind of all the way up. Okay. <laughs> 21, all the way down through the babies. So we all have all down. ages. So you have a you have a lot of subjects that you have That's to cover. Right. <laughs> and then I was also wondering if you could tell us a little bit about your background and what got you into this very unique and challenging okay. job. Okay. I actually am a teacher. Mm -hmm. That was my background. I did teach before I came here. Okay. And so I have the background of knowing the kids' age levels and what their interests are and where they're at uh, emotionally and mentally. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing which really helps in working with the children. Right. To know exactly where they're at and, and what their needs are, that kind of thing. And I kind of just fell into this position and just love it. <laughs> yeah, I can see that you really, you really kind of, uh, you know, take off on this and you're, you're doing a wonderful job, especially, <laughs> especially with a Pictionary. <laughs> How long has Channel 13 actually been operating? I mean, it seems to be a long time, but... Yeah, uh, it's a little over 13 years. Oh my. That we've been operating. It started originally with a security camera, black and white mm -hmm. security camera, yes. and one hand puppet. <laughs> <laughs> way, way back when. It has just grown immensely since that time. Well, you know, when you're doing a good job like you guys do, then, you know, it doesn't really matter what kind of colors you have, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's, it's more the material than it is anything else. And do you, are you on the air all day or? The channel is on the air all day, okay. from 7.30 in the morning until 9.30 at night. We have good programming for mm -hmm. kids all day long. Okay. Um, the live show is just one hour in, after in the afternoon, Tuesday mm -hmm. through Friday at this point. Okay. So it's just the one hour that's live. So and that's what we did today. That was the wishing well. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, what is the purpose, actually, of the shows? What, have, what do you have as functions? What do you uh, want to accomplish here? Well, we want to really help the kids in their adjustment to the hospital mm -hmm. is, is our main goal. And we want to do that both through information and entertainment. Right. Information about the health things, what they're going through, what they're dealing with, what a hospital is like, what all is here, what they're mm -hmm. going to have to face, that kind of thing, and the stressful end of, it, of that part, mm -hmm. being in a strange atmosphere. So all that kind of thing we want to focus on and kind of help them to understand so the fear is, is, is really relieved right. a little bit in that area. Um, also the entertainment, mm -hmm. to bring them up emotionally, uh, mentally, so that they're interacting with things and not just laying there, right. they're dormant. Um, and not interacting with the world around them. So we want to give them fun things to do as well. Well, they certainly are right on that call button, you know? <laughs> they certainly call right away. They got your number. So I was wondering, are all segments that you do produced in-house, like all of your educational stuff and so forth? A lot of it we do, yeah. Okay. We make it so it's really, really focused in on our children here in the hospital and what mm -hmm. they are actually seeing and, and relating to here. So uh -huh. it's not something from somewhere else that they don't really see. Right. You know, this is what they are actually going through. This is what their hall looks like, what their room looks like, what their um, lab technicians look like, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. So they can really see what, you know, that person is like that's going to come in, into their room <laughs> and see them. Right. And we do it in a fun way so that it relieves that fear. Now, I was kind of um, really happy to see that the children also get to come down here and play a little bit with the yeah. equipment and participate. Uh, how do you recruit them? Do you have a lottery where they win, or <laughs> how do you do that? We have them waiting in line. <laughs> oh, I believe, yeah, I believe that. <laughs> we actually try to get the kids down here who are here in the hospital for a long time, mm -hmm. kind of as a, a reward or a goal or something special that they can look forward to mm -hmm. um, since they're here such a long time. So those are the kids that get to come down first. Okay. And then if they've been down here, then other kids that are really interested in, we like to get them down here too. Mm -hmm. Now, do the kids ever come up with ideas that they would like to see mm -hmm. put into action and put into reality? Yes, yes? a lot they of times. Go with that? <laughs> Sometimes they write the whole show and I don't have to do anything, okay. <laughs> which is great. <laughs> so when they when do they tell you about this? When you bring back the special friends that they uh, they gave actually you today to show? yeah often mm -hmm. they will talk to me after the show and they see what's gone on and stuff. I want to do that too, that kind of thing. Um, then we sit down before mm -hmm. they actually get to be on and talk about what they want to do and often they want to teach Porky Chops something. 
Oh, I don't think you can teach our, porky chop he's our much. Very special friend. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that we can teach porky chop much at all. Well, they've tried to teach him how to play basketball. Uh -huh. He wasn't too good at that. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> different things thing. like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but they have a lot of fun with him. <laughs> right. So um, those uh, puppets and the Muppets have traditionally been very, very, um, how should I say, famous for drawing children out. Do, do kids ever talk to Porky Chop? Oh, yeah. And, they yes. call in and talk to him all the time, tell him jokes. Oftentimes, nurses will let us know certain problems that kids are having, and Porky Chops will try to deal with that over the air. Mm -hmm. And then he'll talk to them and say, you know, this is, it's, for instance, if they're not drinking liquids like they need to, he'll have a day where he really is thirsty. <laughs> talk about how important it is to have liquids and that kind of thing. And because Porky's doing it, They'll do then it. they'll do it. They'll do it too. That's really amazing, you know, that uh, how we relate to, uh, you know, little animals like Porky, yeah. you know, <laughs> to scratch the ears and, you know, and uh, we could not, we don't take it from an uh, actual person, That's right. you know, That's so they right. are great intermediary and great tools <laughs> in your profession. <laughs> now, another question that I was going to ask, if you have a child that acts particularly anxious, for instance, on a call or frightened, would you be relating that in return to the medical staff if you know mm -hmm. where the child mm -hmm. calls from? Right. We have a child life department and I let them know any type of situation mm -hmm. that needs to be worked with and dealt with and they'll draw in others that are mm -hmm. needed as well. Now, we have lots and lots of kids with lots of different situations that they mm -hmm. bring with them as well to the hospital is what they're going through here in the hospital, serious diseases that they're mm -hmm. all of a sudden facing and that's very frightening. Oh yes. And, and they just don't know what's happening. And so there's a lot of things. They may say something over the air that they'll think needs to be dealt with and mm -hmm. let people know right away that that's, that's okay. happened. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. That's that's a good thing to do. And um, the older children, how do you get them involved? That's mostly then uh, helping behind the scenes and right. like what Owen did right. today and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And some of our kids, have, you know, come mm -hmm. one month and are gone for a few months and are back another month for mm -hmm. treatment, that kind of thing. And so we grow up. They grow up with us. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. <laughs> they play the game when they're ten and when they're sixteen or seventeen. Then they are behind the scenes running the cameras and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So they kind of grow up with us. Older kids are fascinated with some of the camera tricks we do and that kind of thing. Oh sure. That's what kind of draws them. And how did you do that? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> and so that's what really gets their interest in oh, yes. them down here and watching and brings them out as well. But you're really you're fun. pretty lucky that you had him today behind the controls <laughs> and not me, because you know the technical aspect is just not. <laughs> They That's catch on so quickly. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about the technical as aspect myself. Mm -hmm. I'm amazed at what these kids pick up in just a few minutes. It's really wonderful. So, Kathy, what are some of the favorite shows that you're doing here? The Pictionary, the Bingo, or? The Bingo is the very favorite. Okay. <laughs> favorite game. And it is all hospital items. Mm -hmm. We have bingo cards we hand out ahead of time. And it has all hospital pictures on it in the squares. Mm -hmm. And then during the game, I explain each picture and they mark it off. And they have to get five in a row like normal bingo to, to win or four corners. Mm -hmm. and they just love it. It's really fun. And they're learning hospital things as well. Right. So, so it's, it's really both fun. educational and entertainment and everything right. together. And then I was wondering, do you ever get your hospital staff, I mean your medical staff and your nurses and so forth involved in coming down here and talking to the kids? And yes, we do. <laughs> you do? <laughs> yes. That's really fun. Mm -hmm. We have had um, one of our x-ray nurses come down oh, and yes. show x-rays and um, bring his puppets that he works with the kids as well. He has Ernie and Bert that he helps take mm -hmm. x-rays with and he brought them down showed x-rays and explained the whole area down there. We've had um, psychologists, we've had nurses, we've had admitting personnel, Oh yes. Um, someone from the lab uh -huh. came and actually uh, drew a blood sample from Porky. Oh, <laughs> that must have hurt. <laughs> and he yes. took it very well. Uh huh. <laughs> Just to kind of explain to the kids different things that they were going to be having mm -hmm. as well here in the hospital. So we've had a lot of that kind mm -hmm. of thing. That's really very special. And so I think you answered already the next question. You do have, as the people who are doing the show, you do have contact with the children because you go and pick up the friends, right. you bring back the friends, they tell you things and so forth. Right. So it's that's very interactive. Easy. Oh, yes. And that's what really helps the kids mentally and emotionally. Do you feel that they relate well to you because they know you from, you know, being on TV here? And that's part of it. Mm -hmm. I think that's part of it. We do have other hosts, however, who just do one day we can come in a uh, freelance mm -hmm. and do mm -hmm. that. And the kids have as much fun with them, too. So it works both ways. <laughs> oh, that's, that's lovely. It kind of benefits me a little bit because I get to know them real well, and that's fun. <laughs> right. And then I had read something about the electronic, um, you know, get well card, and I was going to ask you about that, but then we saw some get well cards. and Right. So that's Those what they really do. Neat. That's nice Those to have, really you know, wish you well and all that kind of right. stuff right there in front of me. <laughs> Could you also mention one word about the Malkerson Library that you have oh, here? Sure. I am the librarian here mm -hmm. as well as doing the Wishing Well show. 
and we have a library that's very, very special on sixth floor. It's in a new space. It's got lots of books, a little over 4,000 books oh in there. Oh, my. <laughs> and they deal with um, emotional things as well as hospital things, diseases, mm -hmm. uh, feelings, all that kind of thing, as well as just plain entertainment type of things. Mm -hmm. And so the kids are welcome to come in there at any time mm -hmm. and, and check out books, or we have a book wagon that goes room to room. Mm -hmm. So kids that can't come down can check out books that mm -hmm. way. And oh, the, it really helps them immensely. So now, do children here in the hospital uh, that are here for a long time, do they also have tutors? Do they get, yes. mm -hmm. they have school and yeah. stuff like that? They have school and so they can utilize my library as well for mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, Kathy, I tell you, I have had an experience here that was just as delightful as it was enlightening. I have to thank you very much for talking to us and for letting me come and, like I say, you know, show to the people of Minneapolis what the Children's Hospital actually does here for the good of the kids. Thank you very much. And it much. was a great pleasure. And why don't you say your last name? Because I think I mispronounced it. I don't remember, but it's Kathy Rocky. Kathy <laughs> Rocky. And this was Kathy Rocky talking to us from Channel 13, the internal channel at the Children's Hospital here in Minneapolis. And this brings us again to the end of our show. I had such a great time visiting with you and I really had a great time going to Children's Hospital and I thank the staff and the kids and everybody who made my visit so very special. But now, in order to say goodnight to our children, there is a very special friend of mine who has come along and to help me say goodnight. And this is also a pig, but it is a pig unlike Porky Chops. Now Porky Chops is a barnyard pig. This is a wild pig, or what we call a wild boar. And his name is Wilhelm, and he has come all the way from Europe to visit with us. So Wilhelm and myself would like to say goodnight to all the children and to all the people who have been watching. And until we see you again, we say goodnight. <coughs> oh, I couldn't have said it better myself.